going to do some out training with Bo. Um, Bo has some resource guarding issues in certain scenarios, which he exhibited yesterday. Um, so we've started training him out, which means drop the resource, move away from the resource, and ignore the resource. So that will give you a really low conflict way to get things away from him. If he has something he's not supposed to have, or you just want him to drop something like a toy during play. Um, it also instills who controls the resources, of course. So not him, you, everything belongs to you. And so this is what we do. Sometimes I'll use a regular size muffin pan, but I actually really like these little mini cupcake pans. They work really good. Um, Bo isn't really a super high food motivated dog, so I've got little pieces of chicken mixed in. Um, if your dog's really food driven, you can just use kibble. You can do this with their meals. I like to do it when they're really hungry. Um, I don't like to do this a ton, honestly. I don't like to keep pestering dogs when they're eating their meals. Um, but during the training process, this is usually the easiest way to start the training. And then once they understand the concept, you can generalize it over to other things that they can actually pick up. Um, like bones or balls, um, toys, whatever. Um, but we start with their, with their food. So, and then, you know, I usually tell people to uh, practice with toys and maybe occasionally with their food, but not all the time. So just to make sure that the skill uh, remains intact. Okay, here we go. So if he went to go eat that right now, I would correct him. Good. Break. So I have this down fairly low. And it's going to be constant stimulation when I give the OUT command. He's done this once. So it's going to be constant stimulation at what I think is a fairly low motivating level. And I'll try to show you the remote when I do it. And the stimulation doesn't shut off until he has moved away from the resource. Um, but once I know he's got the hang of it, I'll shut it off the second he starts to give me the behavior. But at first, it's gotta be constant so that he understands what turns it on, what turns it off. So here we go. Out. Good. Good boy. So now if he starts staring at that, I'm going to correct him. So these are the pieces people miss. I want him to move away from it, and I want him to never mind it. And right now he's paying attention to the cat, because the cat's doing some wild stuff over there. <laughs> Break. Good boy. Go ahead. Break. I didn't do anything there. I don't know why he jumped. Something scared him. Out. Good. So I didn't even push the button. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so I didn't even push the button there. Um, just our session last night and the one rep that we did here today. Um, and he knows what I want, which is great. Hey, sit. He's paying attention to Boo Boo over there. So, and that's all there is to it. It's constant stimulation and leash guidance. And then you shut it off once your dog has fully moved away. Um, but you you know, you don't want to use a level too high at first because if your dog 
is really sensitive um, to that sort of thing, they might not want to go back to the food. So it's important if you have a sensitive dog that you start out really, really low and really gentle. Break. Come sweetheart. Break. So you can see he's eating around the kibble. He's eating the chicken. Come on. Bobo. Out. Good. Good boy. here with Bo. Bo can sometimes guard things. Um, he guarded a piece of paper or like a light piece of cardboard uh, from me and so we had a conversation about that um, and I don't think he would do that again. That being said, we've also taught him the out command so that his owner will have a nice low conflict way of getting resources back from him and it also helps instill that she controls the resources. Um, today what I'm going to do is present him with this really nice meaty bone. He hasn't had anything like that since he's been here. No bones. Um, I have no idea how into it he'll be but any normal dog um, would be pretty pretty excited about it. I'm going to take this nice meaty bone. Oh good boy. Does it smell good? It does. Here, sit. Yeah, good. No. No. Break. Good boy. Out. Good boy. Good job. 